Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. Um, I'm going to show you how you can turn off any device remotely. And I'm going to explain how to do this. It's real simple. Um, so let's say you have something that you want to turn off while you're away from your house. And you just can't plug it into the smart outlet. So I'm going to show you how you can adapt something so that you can use a smart outlet on it. And what I mean by a smart outlet is, let me uh, show you here. Let's unplug this. A smart outlet is an outlet that connects to your Wi-Fi. I did a video on this. And you plug this into your outlet. And then it connects to your Wi-Fi. And there's an app for your phone that you can download. And then whatever you plug in here, you can turn off remotely. You can be my, you can be another state and do it. As long as you got internet for this outlet, you can be anywhere. But there's times where certain devices you just can't plug in the power cord to do this. Okay, so that's what I mean by a smart outlet. So I'm going to plug this outlet. I'm going to hook this back up. We got an extension cord here. And you can see I got it plugged in. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a relay. This is how we can do this without having a device that we cannot plug into the outlet. We're going to use a relay to do this. Um, and that's kind of a neat thing about it here. Uh, let me explain. What I did was I had an old wall power uh, wall wart people call them that came off a router and this is a 12 volt DC so if I take a relay that's 12 volt DC and I hook it to this and I can plug this into the smart outlet now I can control just about anything using this relay so this relay is like a switch think of it as like an electrical switch okay so I have it plugged in I have the you can see here on the display I have the on-screen display so you can see when the when I take the phone app and I turn it on you'll see that the switch the, the relay is going to turn on and I don't know if you can read the meter itself but that meter is right here on the display. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn on that smart outlet, which is going to turn power on, which is going to activate that relay and then close the switch. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And we did that and now you can see the switch has closed. So now I can go ahead and turn something on. I can, um, you know, as long as it's it's something that uh, I cannot plug into the outlet directly. Now, the limitations of this are only what the relay is rated for. This relay I got is 12 volt DC and it can handle 10 amps. So you can almost control anything as long as your relay can handle the current. So now this this is on. The outlet's on. You can see the display here. And it's on. So you're thinking, well, why would I need to do this? Well, here's a good example. It may not be the best example, but this will give you an a idea. Let's say I have something. Let's take this off. I have something that takes a 9-volt battery. Well, obviously, I cannot plug that into the outlet. That ain't going to work. So what I could do is cut the wire, one of the wires, don't matter which one, black or red, doesn't matter. Cut one of the wires and hook it to the relay. And then plug the battery back in and then turn this on to do whatever I want to do. And then remotely, I can turn it on off with the smart outlet because I have the, the relay hooked up to the battery 
and the 9 volt battery can be switched on and off using the relay which is in turn plugged into the 12 volt wall wart plugged into the outlet so that's one example if you got something that runs on battery and you cannot plug it in to the smart outlet you can do something like that or let's say I want to do something uh, that like a switch let's say I, I have a, a a device where I'll just pick I'll just grab something here I could theoretically take a mouse let's say I want it to, to push a button and I want to do it remotely well I could hook up this relay to the button in the mouse and then have it remotely key up the, the, the mouse remember this is a switch on and off switch how we got this config so you can hook up anything to that to remotely turn it on and off that's what's kind of neat about this and it's simple to do like I said I'll post a link to the relays they're 12 volt DC so you need a wall wart that's 12 volt DC I like I said that came off an old router I found a fancy so I didn't have to cut the plug off I soldered on a a uh, you can see when I unplugged it now it undid the switch because it lost power but anyway I soldered in a fancy little jack but you just you can cut the end off of here and solder them directly to the coil of the relay and then you figure out which when you activate the power you find out what contacts because on a relay you got normally open and normally closed we want normally open so when the power is turned on it closes the switch so I just found out which contacts that were soldered my wires on and it, voila I have a remote for any type of thing I want to do whether it's like I said it could be could be anything it could be uh, now I plugged it in now it's the switch is on because the outlet's still on you see that's what's neat about it now if I want to turn it off off see I can control anything with that relay be, and it could be a smart device. I could turn, like I said, this stupid meter into a smart device. I could turn anything that long as I can get to the wires to hook up this in place of the switch or in place of the power, the 9-volt battery, I can control anything. Um, like I said, it just the only limitations is how many amps the relay can handle. So, uh, if you know, this, this one's a pretty small relay. This can handle 10 amps. Um, which is a lot I'm not gonna run something 10 amps but so that's the only thing and you gotta make sure the relay what voltage you need the relay to run on is gonna depend on your wall wart if you have a 5 volt wall wart then you're gonna need a 5 volt relay so this is a 12 volt so I need a 12 volt relay so that's the only thing you got to pay attention to and a lot of people got a lot of these things laying around so anyway that's how simple it is to make anything re remote, wireless, Wi-Fi, remote capable. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.